Hi everybody, happy Wednesday, June 3rd. We are halfway through the week, if you can believe it. Time does fly when you're having fun. All right, today we're going to read Mrs. McTats and her Houseful of Cats. It was written by Alyssa Satin Capuchilli, and Joan Rankin is the illustrator. She drew the pictures. So we read Harry the Dirty Dog yesterday, so I thought we'd read a cat book today. So before we do that, how about we say a nice prayer to our Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, I've got my cardinal earrings on today. Can you see them? Kind of hard to see. But I've got them on because I'm seeing so many cardinals in my neighborhood. So gorgeous. Oh, my favorite bird. They are just beautiful. And we have a Baltimore Oriole or two in our neighborhood also. So there are birds just of all colors around. Get out and take a look. They are beautiful. And, of course, got my hawk shirt on. So we are set to read Mrs. McTatt's and her house full of cats by Alyssa Satin Capuchilli and Joan Rankin is the illustrator. She drew the pictures. All right, cute, cute, cute. In a small, cozy cottage lived Mrs. McCats. She lived all alone except for one cat. There's the whole village. Can you see the nice little village here? And here's her cottage, her cute little cottage. Little Cape Cod cottage, right? Every morning she left as the clock struck eight. To market, to market, I mustn't be late. She browsed through the market and chose the plump fish. For Abner and me, what a sumptuous dish. But when she got home, there came a scratch on the door, and in walked two cats. Was there room for two more? My goodness, what do you think Abner's going to think? There's Abner, right there with Mrs. McTats. Just brought him home some fish, right? Oops. And then here's two more. Come in, my sweet dears, said Mrs. McTats. I'm sure I've got room for just two more cats. I'll call you Basil, and Curly you'll be. I only had one cat, one cat, but now I have three. So Basil and Curly are joining Abner. I think we have an alphabet theme going on here. The very next morning, Mrs. McTats woke up early. She stopped to pet Abner and Basil and Curly. To market, to market, I mustn't be late. This chicken, I think, will surely taste great. But when she got home, there came a scratch on the door, and in walked three cats. Was there room for three more? So first she had one, then added two, and now she's adding three more. So she has six. Woohoo! Come in, my sweet dears, said Mrs. McTats. I think I've got room for just three more cats. Now give me a moment. What shall your names be? Your Dolly, your Ernest, and Fuzzy makes three. So we had Abner, Basil, Curly, right? A, B, C. And now we've got Dolly, D, Ernest, E, and Fuzzy, F. So she's going through the alphabet. And they are all shapes and sizes, aren't they? And colors. The very next morning, off went, off went Mrs. McTats. What can I buy for my six hungry cats? I've got it, she said. I'll make a nice stew. So she carried home beef and liver to brew. But back at home, there came a scratch on the door, and in walked four cats. Was there room for four more? So one, and two, then three, then four more. My goodness, and look at all the different colors of the cats. Oh, 
I think that brings us to 10. Come in, my sweet dears, said Mrs. McTats. I know there's a place for just four more cats. Ten's a fine number, ten cats and me. I'll call, I'll call you Goldie and Herman, you'll be. Izzy and Jezebel pranced across the floor, and then right behind them, oh my goodness, can you tell who's Goldie? <laughs> the big one on the bed. And then right behind them followed five more. Coco and Linus, Millie, Noreen, and you shall be Oscar. There, that makes 15. Look at these, all shapes and sizes, colors, spots, stripes. Wait, can you see the picture here on the wall? Let's go back a few. So she's got a picture on the wall here. Let's see if we can go back to it. That's so cute, right? So let's start from here. See the picture with the mom and dad there on the wall? Right, there's that. And then every time she adds more cats, the picture kind of changes. So she's, they're looking at the cats as they walk through the door right now. They've changed position. And now they're looking this way when some of the cats come in. Can you see them? They're thinking, oh my. And then when the recent cats come in, some more, they're looking at Millie as she's skateboarding around just in horror. You see? Isn't that funny? So now we're up to 15. The very next day, off went Mrs. McTats. What can I possibly feed 15 cats? She chose a fresh tuna. She chose a fine trout. But when she got home, her cats were all out. See, and there's the picture too. They look happy again, no cats. Not too many cats in the house. She counted her cats from 1 to 15, but somehow six more cats had just joined the scene. Come, come, my sweet dear, said Mrs. McTats. I'm sure I have plenty for 21 cats. Pip, Quip, and Rosebud, Sally and Tozy, Ursula dear, do make yourself cozy. Little goldfish pond. But then came another scratch on the door. Could it be more cats? How many more? In came Violet, in came Winnie, and just behind a kitten she named Zinny. In came Yodel, the last of the bunch, 25 cats ready for lunch. <laughs> Look at Yodel, is yodeling. <laughs> See? See? All these new cats, ooh, it looks like a nice little cake on the table. My dog would have gone for the cake. Just like his mama. Mm -hmm. But something was missing. What could it be? Just what it was, Mrs. McTats could not see. As she stood there puzzling, there was a scratch on the door, and Mrs. McTats wondered, could there really be more? Could she squeeze in more cats? More than 25? Who was the one? Who was next to arrive? Come in, my sweet dear, said Mrs. McTats. I live in this cottage with 25 cats. But if you don't mind, you're welcome to stay. You're welcome to eat. You're welcome to play. And I think this one's Abner right here, with the question mark above his head, too, with Mrs. McTats thinking, Oof, who could possibly be at the door? It's been a busy few days. Now in that small cottage lived Mrs. McTats, all happy and cozy with her 25 cats. And one little puppy, who's known as Zoom, in a small cozy cottage with plenty of room. 
Bet you those cats give him a run for his money, right? He has all kinds of playmates. Little Zoom. With his cute little bed and bone. And just when the clock strikes each morning at eight, Mrs. McTats hurries off. I mustn't be late. To market, to market, what treats will there be for 26 deers from A to Z? And there's Zoom leading the way, zooming to market. <laughs> Thank you. Mrs. McTats and her houseful of cats. It was written by Alyssa Satin Capuccilli and Joan Rankin drew the pictures. I hope you enjoyed it. All righty, Wednesday. Go out and have some fun this happy Wednesday, halfway through the week. All righty, so enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Remember to read, 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 read. Get out there and read whatever you can. Reading is important. It helps you in every way. In everything you do in life, reading is going to help you. So remember to write those books too. Pictures to words, words to pictures. I want to plaster the library with your books. So, and you've got all summer to do that too. So summer's coming up. So enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. And get out and look at those cardinals. Look at those birds, right? There are more birds. I saw a bird with pink head that I've never seen. A pink head that I've never seen in my neighborhood before. And we've got nests and the ducks that we had in our neighborhood. They have all hatched and they have left. I miss the duckling parade. I'm sad. It was early, early this morning, right? But you know, long before we get up from up to, from bed. So anyway, get out and enjoy some nature. Go see what's going on. All right. Until I see you tomorrow. Always remember the most important part of the day. Jesus loves you. Bachi.